Let's get this situation with Northern Ireland women's manager Kenny Shields. He's faced criticism for claiming that women are more likely to concede goals in quick succession than men because uh, they're more emotional, he says. Shields was speaking after his side lost 5-0 to England in their World Cup qualifiers. He claimed it was a widespread issue in women's football because of an emotional imbalance before appearing to regret what he'd just said. In the women's game, you'll have noticed, I'm sure you will, if you go through the patterns, when a team concedes a goal, they concede a second one within a very short period of time. Right through the whole lot, the whole spectrum of the women's game, because girls and women are more emotional than men, so they take a goal gun in, they, they don't take that very well. So if you watch, you go through the stats, which journalists love to do, going through stats, and you'll see teams conceding goals in 18 and 21 minutes, and then in 64 and 68 minutes, they group them because that's an emotional goal. So we conceded in 48, we should be three and uh, seven minutes, was it, or three and nine on in, in Friday. And we were conscious of that. When we went 1 0 down, we killed the game tried to just slow it right down because to give them time to get that emotional imbalance out of their head and and that's a that's an issue we have not just Northern Ireland but all the countries of that problem I shouldn't have told you that yeah, he ends up by saying he shouldn't have told you that I mean Paul Gilmore's here for us he, you were in the news conference it's been quite a week Paul with mobile phones going off and now these comments uh, I mean what's the reaction been Well, yeah, Pete, the, uh, in that news conference room last night, it was uh, one of those moments as Kenny Shields was giving that answer. People were looking around the room, wondering, trying to catch the eye of others. Is he, is he really saying that? that was, it was that kind of a feeling in the room of, of journalists at the time. And, um, yeah, that, that phrase right at the end there, I shouldn't have told you that, perhaps, uh, an insight into to Kenny Shields' thoughts uh, afterwards. Um, he always has been a bit unpredictable in media interviews and press conferences. I've always had the sense that he maybe just doesn't always feel quite comfortable. He's always maybe, um, you know, will speak his mind, will will be honest, will try and portray his feelings and his thoughts, uh, not necessarily the, the kind of answers you, we've become used to hearing in press conferences that are carefully managed um, in terms of scripting and, and what is said and messages people want to get out. And I think that's, some that's another example, and, and we have many examples of Kenny Shields uh, talking on, on uh, subjects and, and randomly going off on a tangent. So, the, yeah, the reaction has been one of... Um, uh, one of shock, really, because I think last night was uh, was a was a historic night, really, for the North Ireland women's team. A full house at Windsor Park, a close, very close to a full house. All the tickets uh, available were sold out, uh, albeit a 5-0 thrashing at the hands uh, of England. But instead, the focus is all on this. Uh, this morning, uh, we understand the IFA plan to speak to Kenny Shields. Uh, this morning, just to get his comments and uh, uh, get his thoughts, sorry, on the comments made last night. So we're expecting some form of communication from the Irish Football Association uh, today at some point. Uh, there has been some early reaction from the likes of former England striker Ian Wright, who uh, labelled it foolishness, and uh, former uh, England goalkeeper Siobhan Chamberlain, uh, who of course played uh, 50 times for England. She said uh, that he had to take responsibility for knowing the value that words can hold, as she was on to say, to just generalise that to women is a slightly bizarre comment. So bizarre seems to be the word being used quite a lot in relation to this. But uh, as we said, uh, we're expecting some form of communication from the Irish Football Association uh, on this at some point today.